Hi everyone! Today we're going to be drawing um, some snowmen from a different perspective than we normally do. It's going to be like a worm's eye view of our snowmen, our snow people, and we're looking up at them. So, start with a piece of paper. I made mine a square because I just wanted to draw mine as a square, but you can use whatever size paper you have. And we're going to draw in the corners the body of our snow people. So I'm just gonna draw a curve at each corner. Not too big. We need room for our snowman's head on each one. And of course they can be different sizes. So now let's add a snowman head to each one. You can already tell it looks like they're looking down at you um, and you are looking up at them. Um, okay, let's add some facial features. So I'm gonna switch out Sharpies because this one is dying. Let's add some eyes. And a nose. And I kind of did the nose at an angle so it looked like you were looking up at the snowman. And I'm just gonna draw the snowman's mouth to be open like they're shocked that you're on the ground. Now let's draw some arms, some snow people arms. Two lines up. And then just draw some little stick fingers. This one's gonna be holding a string of lights. Because why not? Maybe this snowman is taking down their holiday decorations. So to draw your lights, you just draw like a teardrop shape and then two lines to connect it. And that shape is really hard to draw upside down. But it's okay, you'll know <laughs> We'll all know what it is um, when you add color to it. Okay. Um, maybe this one has some earmuffs. So just some bumpy lines and there are connecting lines for the little headband part. Okay, let's move on to another one. This one is going to have a scarf coming down from its shoulders. And a little hat. And her arms are also gonna be up. And her arms are like a stick. <laughs> I'm gonna come around to this one to give this one like a top hat. Keep adding facial features to your snowman. This snowman doesn't know how to feel about 
anything. <laughs> He's just gonna have a straight across mouth. We're trying to add some variety in our artwork. So that means making things nice and different. Some little branch hands and maybe some buttons that get bigger as you reach the edge of the paper because what is further away from you will be smaller. Okay, last little one right here. Let's give him a scarf. He doesn't really have room for a hat and that's okay. Let's add a facial feature. Let's add the eyes. And just like a half smile. And he's also gonna have buttons. One, two, and three. Okay, and his arms are going to be down so we won't see his arms. So here is the trick that makes this look 3D. So I'm gonna use a light blue marker. You could use a light blue crayon or whatever you have. And we're going to just add some shadows right here on the edge of our snowman. It's really gonna give you that full effect of your snowman looking down from that bird's eye angle. Do the whole thing. You might do parts of it. Okay. So that really gives that effect. And we can also do snow falling. So we'll just do dots. Lastly, let's go ahead and color. So I'm gonna put on a time lapse for that. And you just wanna color all your little details. And obviously you can leave the snow people bodies white. But I'm gonna put on a time lapse so we're not staying so long watching me color. Okay, so my snow people are done, and it really does look like an optical illusion where I'm looking up at my snow people and I'm laying on the ground. Um, so I hope you enjoyed drawing these snow people with me from this interesting perspective, and I hope we get some snow this year. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.